Hello, I just want to make a short statement. I retired two days ago from a mid-sized fire department in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex at a middle rank. I spent 30 years there, six years before that in a smaller department, and then four years in the Marines before that. So I've got 40 years of public service. So I was thinking maybe I could tell a couple of things that might be helpful to somebody. Uh, I'd like to thank all those people that have helped me over the years to get to where I'm at, especially my wife, Teresa, who has been by my side for 36 years and without whom I couldn't have made it this far. Uh, the guys at 7A gave me a real good send off and I'd like to thank them. Also, I'd like to thank the guys at 8A who took care of me when I was a lieutenant and then the guys at Central Station, all three shifts, that took care of me for most of my career. Um, but the three things are, from least important maybe, is don't be an idiot. If you're about to do something an idiot might do, don't do that thing. I learned that from a show called The Office, but it's great advice. Uh, the second thing is don't live by lies. And don't let an untruth go unchallenged. So in the fire service, you can start an argument by talking about water flow. You can talk about ventilation. And you can talk about rescue. And you're going to get fights on all those things about who's right. But don't, don't give up the challenge to find the truth. And don't hide the truth. If, if you've made a mistake, come clean about it. Uh, but I learned uh, Don't Live By Lies, a book called Don't Live By Lies, and also Not Letting an Untruth Go Unchallenged, a book called Preparing for Eternity by Mike Gendron. Uh, these books you see beside me are the ones that I've taken tests on over the years. It's a lot of heavy books uh, to make engineer, lieutenant, and captain. At one time, I could have told you where almost anything was in those books, and that was really important to me. And this job is important, so we study for it. But after I got those promotions, what I didn't realize is how little I knew this book, which is the Bible, which is about creation, the fall, and redemption. It's about how God created all of us in his image. It's about how sin entered through Adam and separated us from God. And that the only way to get back together with God is for us to trust his plan of redemption, which may not make sense to us, but it's his, it's his universe, so he gets to do what he wants. But his plan of redemption is to trust on the person and the finished work of the real Jesus Christ that's described in the Bible. So don't be uh, dissuaded or distracted by cults and false religions that would teach you anything other than uh, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and there's no way to the God, the Father, but through him. And there's no mediator except Jesus Christ. And you just need to trust on his person, who he actually is, and his finished work for salvation. And that those would, that would be saved, he will save. So if you're already a Christ believer, spend more time in the book to get better at it, to be able to help others. If you're not a Christ believer, I suggest you get to know who God is, the real God of the Bible, and who the real Jesus is. So in summary, it's don't be an idiot. But you're going to be, and you're going to screw up, and you're probably already screwed up. That's okay. Come back next shift, come back tomorrow, and we're going to try it again. Don't live by lies. If you screw up, tell somebody. Don't try to hide your mistakes. There's redemption in the fire department similar to how there is with God the Almighty who created us and wants us to love Him and come back to Him. So thank you to everyone who's helped me. And I hope this can help you. And I'm praying for you in Jesus' name.